We live on planet Earth, an enormous piece of rock orbiting a star we call the Sunday. The Sun, in turn, is just one star within a vast galaxy, which itself is part of a universe full of mysteries and fascinating phenomena. Yet, to find some of nature's greatest mysteries, we don't need to look far. Our own planet is brimming with intriguing problems waiting to be explored. For starters, Earth has a diameter of thousands of kilometers, and obtaining information about its inner layers is quite challenging. If Earth's radius were represented by a 30 centimeters ruler, the deepest hole ever dug by humans would barely reach 6 millimeters. We live on the Earth's crust and have never left it or dug deep enough to reach the next layer, the mantle. So, how do we know so much about Earth's core? The answer lies in studying the effects of the inner layers on the surface, such as volcanoes and earthquakes. Surprisingly, we have a good understanding of volcanoes and earthquakes. Even more surprising is our lack of understanding of the atmosphere, with which we are constantly in contact. It's puzzling because there's no barrier like rock or water separating us from the atmosphere. We're literally immersed in it right now. So why is it so hard to comprehend? Don't get me wrong, we know a lot about the atmosphere and its functions. We understand atmospheric events, know the composition of the air, and can make weather forecasts, or at least try to. But there's a fundamental limitation that prevents us from fully understanding our planet's climate. The atmosphere is composed of gases, which are fluids. Thus, the atmosphere flows, creating winds, forming clouds, and generating air currents that traverse the globe. If you pay close attention, you'll realize that we simply cannot predict the movement of the atmosphere with precision due to the multitude of factors influencing it, mountains block wind currents, water vapor evaporates from oceans, the Earth's rotation creates the Coriolis effect, which leads to tornadoes and hurricanes. All these factors impact the movement of gases in the atmosphere, leading to what we call turbulent flow, or more commonly, turbulence. It's the same phenomenon that makes airplanes shake, making us see our lives flash before our eyes. Chaotic changes in air pressure, speed and movement are happening worldwide at every moment. And here's the issue, we don't fully understand turbulence. By we, I mean humanity as a whole, including the greatest minds ever. Understanding turbulent flow is such a complex problem that Heisenberg, one of the key figures in quantum mechanics, once said, when I meet God, I have two questions why relativity and why turbulence. Heisenberg, who deeply understood the mysteries of quantum mechanics, was baffled by this classical physics problem. Another physicist, Richard Feynman, claimed that turbulence was the most important unsolved problem in classical physics. One of the most interesting consequences of atmospheric turbulence affects us daily, tropical storms, also known as cyclones in the southern hemisphere or hurricanes in the northern hemisphere are some of the most powerful displays of atmospheric energy. A single hurricane releases, on average, 200 times the electrical energy generated worldwide, or, in more destructive terms, the same energy as 10,000 nuclear bombs. Understanding how cyclonic storms work can provide crucial insights into turbulence. When studying something, it's useful to look at extreme cases. For instance, what is the largest hurricane ever recorded? How large can they get? How long can they last? The largest recorded cyclone was Typhoon Tip, which formed in the Pacific Ocean, with a diameter of over 2,000 kilometers. It sustained winds of 305 kilometers per hour for a few minutes and winds of 260 kilometers per hour for over 10 minutes, enough to lift any person and many heavy objects. Despite this, we believe that cyclones generally can't be much more extreme than typhoon tip. Cyclones are essentially engines, transforming heat into movement or work. They form only over warm ocean waters. The warm surface water evaporates, heating the air above, which rises through convection. This creates a low-pressure zone, drawing in surrounding air and forming the cyclone's eye. The drawn-in air is heated by the ocean's evaporation, perpetuating the cycle and forming a cyclone that converts thermal energy into wind. 
Cyclones are extremely efficient at this process, but engines have efficiency limits. Thus, in the worst cases, a cyclone's maximum wind speed can reach about 320 km per hour. These are the largest storms that can occur on Earth, which is full of obstacles that frequently disrupt and dissipate cyclones. However, there's a place without these obstacles, and it's not on Earth. To find the most extreme and unimaginable storms, we need to look at gas giants like Jupiter. Jupiter is 320 times more massive than Earth and, being a gas giant, lacks continents, mountains, or any barriers found on Earth. How powerful can storms on Jupiter be? The answer is very powerful. Jupiter's most iconic storm is the Great Red Spot, a high-pressure zone generating a storm larger than Earth. You can even see it with a backyard telescope. A storm of this size is terrifying, but more terrifying is that the Great Red Spot has been observed continuously since 1830, which means at least 200 years of uninterrupted storm. And that's just the first confirmed historical record. Observations from 1665 also seem to reference it, suggesting it could be at least 350 years old. Winds at its edge reach over 400 km per hour, unimaginable for Earth's cyclones. The Great Red Spot on Jupiter is the largest storm ever recorded, both in size and duration, and is one of the wonders of the solar system, a true postcard of Jupiter. Yet, it remains shrouded in mystery. We don't understand how a storm can last so long, even on Jupiter. There are hypotheses and models on how wind currents could sustain it, but it remains an open question. Studying extreme weather events in our solar system can benefit us here on Earth. Understanding the largest storm we know of could help us better understand turbulence and storms in general. We might achieve more accurate weather forecasts, predict floods, or foresee significant climatic events with greater advance. In any case, storms like Typhoon Tip or the Great Red Spot are evidence of the universe's wonderful complexity. Who would have thought that storms are almost perfect engines transforming the chaotic movement of atmospheric particles into colossal cloud patterns, and part of one of physics' most intriguing unsolved problems, turbulence. Thank you very much and see you next time.